Right, right, yeah. So yeah. temperatures are going to warm up. So that's yeah. uh, that's Relative the good thing. Relative to what feels warm. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you know, it is the payoff of the of the overnight uh, low temperatures yeah. being in the 20s and 30s in some spots, as yeah. the sunny skies. And so th overnight lows will warm up as the week goes on because we'll start to see some clouds mm -hmm. move back in. So you know, there you go. That's the trade off that we have. But if yeah, you're going to take the pet out this morning or do some things early in the morning with a walk, it's going to be uh, chilly right now okay, for so sure. Maybe wait a little bit if you can. If you can, yeah, yeah, wait a little bit. But here are current temperatures right now. You could see some places in the uh, upper 20s in the South Puget Sound and uh, we have also 28 in Oak Harbor. Otherwise we are in the 30s for some spots. Seattle at 35 degrees right now and our high temperatures today we are going to get into the low 50s. Take a look at that low 50s in the South Puget Sound uh, 50 degrees in Mount Vernon 57 out in Forks today. So the sunshine is certainly going to warm things up for us and then tomorrow's overnight low temperature. So at this time tomorrow these are the temperatures we should see which will be in the lower 30s. Some places may see freezing temperatures but it's not going to be as cold as it is this morning. Your next 12 hours over in LaConnor up to 49 degrees and some sunshine coming your way in Bellingham. You'll get up to 49 degrees. You have sunshine throughout the day today over in Paulsbo, 51 degrees. Lots of sunshine there as well. And in Redmond again, we'll take a look at that 51 degrees and your sunshine today. Now, if you're uh, getting ready to head out to the pumpkin patch today, probably the last week. Well, not probably it is the last weekend for that, but we can take a look at our high temperature of 52 degrees. The chance of rain is none for today, so clear and dry. Uh, the field condition will be frosty, but once once, uh, you know, it warms up, could be some mud conditions, of course, but that's part of the fun of the pumpkin patch. Seahawks this weekend, they take on the Browns over at Lumen Field. Kickoff at 105. You'll have 53 degrees and a sunny skies for that game on Sunday. Uh, let's take a look at this area that's shaded in purple. As you can see here, this area that's shaded in purple is where the freeze warning is in effect until 9 a.m. this morning. So again, the area shaded in purple uh, freezing temperatures are on uh, on the menu for this morning. Let's take a look at our national forecast. You could see 51 in our neck of the woods today in Seattle. It's uh, 86 down in Phoenix, 83 in the nation's capital. But you can see a big chill here in this part of our country with uh, 30 degrees in Denver, 35 in Minneapolis. Mountains today, if you have any hiking plans, freezing level starts at 2,500 feet this morning, but it goes up to 5,000 feet later in the day. Sunny skies, 39 to 45 degrees are your past temperatures that we are expecting today. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Morning fog and frost today, otherwise sunny and a high of 51 degrees. Tomorrow warms up to about 55 degrees. Same thing for Monday with sunny skies both those days. On Halloween on Tuesday, clouds do return. Shouldn't be wet for the trick-or-treaters because the rain is holding off until Wednesday, it looks like, uh, with Wednesday, Thursday, uh, rainy day on Thursday as well, and then showers and sun breaks on Friday. But those warming temperatures, but take a look at the overnight lows, they will be in the mid-40s. So that's the big difference as we head into the later part of next week.